Well, does medical marijuana make driving more dangerous, or does it have any effect at all? Just as there are opposing views of medical marijuana, national reports also seem to have conflicting results. KITV4's Paul Drews takes a look at Hawaii statistics when it comes to pot and driving. As a medical marijuana user, Joe Radner has seen his health improve by using the drug. It relaxes me completely from the brain to my bodily function, so I go on my day a little bit easier. A recent study also suggests medical marijuana may have made roads safer. Based on national accident data report, other states that allowed medical marijuana saw a significant decrease in traffic fatalities during the first year of the program. In Hawaii, though, the numbers didn't drop. They actually increased from 132 in the year 2000 to 140 in 2001. The study suggests drivers substituted pot for alcohol, but overall, there hasn't been much of a change with alcohol and fatal accidents. Nearly 50% of drivers tested in those deadly accidents tested positive for alcohol. That was true before and after the introduction of medical marijuana. Other studies found marijuana affects driving behavior differently than alcohol, although there were some similarities. There are some decreased reflexes associated with um, medical marijuana or marijuana in general. It totally slows your reaction down. The reaction time is totally minimized. and. You're even thinking about other things instead of what you'd be doing by driving. Like distracted driving or more like drunk driving. That can depend on the user. Honolulu police say when they pull over drivers, they test for impairment, which means some longtime or frequent marijuana users may still have the balance and reflexes to pass even when they're high. One significant statistic since the introduction of medical marijuana in Hawaii is the percentage of drivers involved in fatal crashes that tested positive for THC, the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. Since 2001, that amount has tripled from 5 to 15 percent. I'm an ER doctor. Any decrease in your capacity to swerve and get out of the way of an accident that's coming, especially on Big Island and the neighbor islands where the light isn't as good at night, don't do it. Paul Drews. KITV4 News. Now, unlike a breathalyzer or a blood test that determines how much alcohol is in a driver's system at a particular time, THC can remain in the bloodstream for days or even weeks, which means more frequent users could have high levels even if they did not use marijuana just before testing.